Hi, this is Jason Mizrahi with WinDailySports.com, and I'm here to give you the best daily fantasy football picks for Week 9. This is Jason with WinDailySports.com, and I'm giving you the locks at running back for Week 9. Aaron Jones has been targeted like a wide receiver as of late. He's coming off a seven-reception, 159-yard receiving game on Sunday night versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And he's also finding the end zone a bunch with 11 touchdowns on the season. He now gets to face the 23rd ranked rush defense and a Chargers team who's allowing 122 yards per game on the ground. Lock up Aaron Jones before his price catches up to his performance. Let's lock up Nick Chubb at $7,300 on DraftKings going into week nine. I'm looking to find you some savings so we can pay up at other spots on your offense. Chubb and the Cleveland offense have been struggling, but I think they bounce back in a nice matchup versus the Denver Broncos, who are ranked 18th versus opposing running backs. Chubb has averaged 21.5 fantasy points per game and should be able to exceed that in week nine. So let's lock up Nick Chubb at a nice value spot at your running back position. Those were your running backs for week nine. Now stay tuned for more picks from WinDailySports.com. I'm Scott Engel. I am the king. I am fantasy from WinDailySports.com with your essential NFL DFS quarterback picks for week nine. Jameis Winston of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is a great pick at Seattle this week at $6,100 on DraftKings. It's okay to spend down a quarterback in week nine because in the 10-game slate, you're going to be missing a lot of prime quarterbacks such as Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, Pat Mahomes. So save some money, play this matchup because Andy Dalton and Matt Schaub have thrown for 400 yards this season against the Seahawks. Seattle has allowed the second most passing yards in the NFC to opposing quarterbacks, and this could be a shootout at CenturyLink Field. We're always looking to help you find value at WinDailySports.com. And we have the prime value play quarterback for you for NFL DFS Week 9. It's Derek Carr at just 5,500 on DraftKings, facing the Detroit Lions, who have the worst pass defense in the NFL. This is a matchup you have to take advantage of. Carr's really come on the last two games. Five total touchdown passes, and also... He's facing the Lions, who have the worst pass defense in the NFL and have allowed the third most fantasy points per game in the NFC to opposing quarterbacks. This has been a pivotal season for Carr. He's had to show that he can take this job on and run with it, and he's really started to hit a groove in the last two games. Those were your quarterback picks for Week 9. Stay tuned for more from WinDailySports.com. Hi, I'm Scott Engel from WinDailySports.com with your prime wide receiver plays for NFL DFS Week 9. A guy who may not be widely owned this week because he hasn't played too well recently, but is set to bounce back is Robbie Anderson of the New York Jets at just $5,500 on DraftKings. If you saw last Monday night's game against the Steelers, opponents like to attack the Dolphins downfield. Miami has the 21st ranked pass defense. This is a get right spot for Sam Darnold, the Jets, and their passing game. And hey, not just Robbie Anderson, his partner, Jamison Crowder, is just $5,300. Roll those Jets out in NFL DFS Week 9. A terrific value play in NFL DFS Week 9 is John Brown of the Buffalo Bills. At $6,100 on DraftKings, facing the Washington Redskins. There's going to be some big names off this 10-game slate, such as Julio Jones, Cooper Cup, Michael Thomas, the Dallas wide receivers. So save some money with John Brown, who's been more dependable than ever before for the Buffalo Bills. He scored double figures in six of seven games on DraftKings so far this season. Yet as anybody who's watched Brown throughout his career knows, he's a big play artist. We have yet to see the true big game from John Brown yet this season. I say it's coming in week nine, and it could be a real difference-making play for you and GPPs when you set your lineups. Lock in those wide receivers and stay tuned for more from WinDailySports.com.
This is Jay at WindDailySports.com, and I want to lock in these tight ends going into week nine of the NFL fantasy football season. Now at tight ends, I want more value for you. I want Greg Olson at $3,500 on DraftKings. The tight end position is very light in week nine, so I'm going dumpster diving to find you some value. I don't see any tight ends in smash spots, so I'm looking to grab double digits from Olsen and pay up on my skill position. Olsen is averaging 9.7 DraftKings points per game and is facing off against a Tennessee Titans team who ranked 19th against opposing tight ends. Lock up Greg Olsen at 3,500. You may not have heard of Noah Fant, but there's a trend here at tight end and it's called value shopping. Give me 10 points for Fant at near minimum salary and I'll be happy. Fant is coming off an eight target game in week eight with Emmanuel Sanders traded away. We're looking to catch lightning in the bottle with Fant and hopefully a touchdown while we're at it. Lock up a very low own Noah Fant in week nine. Lock in those tight ends and stay tuned for more with WindDailySports.com. Hi, I'm Scott the King Engel from WindDailySports.com here with your stack attack for NFL DFS Week 9. My favorite game stack for NFL DFS Week 9 is Tampa Bay and Seattle. I expect a high scoring affair. Both defenses are going to get attacked in the air. Jameis Winston is my guy to go with a quarterback with a big game for Chris Godwin. Coming back on the Seattle side, the one play that I really want is DK Metcalf at $5,700 on DraftKings. He scored two touchdowns last week, and he might have his best yardage game of the season this week. That was a stack attack. Now stay tuned for more from WindDailySports.com.